Welcome back to Basic Beauty Bitch. My name is Melissa. I'm just a basic bitch who loves all things beauty. And today is Full Face Friday. Yay! Are you guys excited? It's our second, um, I almost said second annual. <laughs> it's not second annual. It's just second. Full Face Friday. And um, we're keeping with our theme of doing makeup on a budget. So today I have a full face of e.l.f. products. Um... Some I had in my collection already. Some's kind of old, so like don't judge me because um, it's kind of worn and you'll see what I'm talking about. And then some I had to go out and purchase because like I didn't have a um, like e.l.f. mascara and I didn't have anything e.l.f. for the brows. So I went and picked that up today. But um, most of it I already had. e.l.f. is very inexpensive. Most of their stuff's like four, six, eight dollars, like it's all less than, ten, well not all of it, but all the stuff I have is less than ten dollars and um, you don't even need a ton of their products. Like, like we talked about before, you can get by with just doing like, you know, minimal makeup if you want. Uh, I, I'm going to do a full face just to show what they have to offer, but um, by no means am I saying that you have to apply a full face of makeup every time you do it. So um, I'm going to try to film this really quick. We're going to try to do this, you know, speedy, speedy. And um, so let's just jump into it, okay? I'm going to take my glasses off, pull my hair back a little bit. Ugh. My eyes are being really watery today, so I apologize. Um, also, I'm having like some skin issues with my nose, some acne issues. So we're going to see how well Elf is going to do to cover these up. The first thing we're going to start with is actually a staple for me. It is something that I will not go without, and it is the Elf Poreless Face Primer. Um, I keep this all the time. I really, really like it. They have all different kinds of primers. I like the pink one, the poreless one. Um, it's one of just my staple primer. I have other primers I like, but this one I always go back to. So I'll just do a couple pumps of this all over the face. It just makes your skin like kind of smooth and silky like so I feel like my nose is going to give me a problem today um <clears throat> I feel like it helps with the application of the makeup it makes things go smoother so next is foundation you can't even read this foundation because it's been worn off it did say elf at one point and it is in the color buff. I saw the little sticker. But it comes in like a little tube. I don't know. Container like this. And they have several different types of foundations. This is the one that I like. It's very well loved. Um, sorry about that. And you're going to see. I'm just going to go in with my fingers. I don't know if that bothers you guys. Some people don't like it when you apply foundation with your fingers. But we are trying <coughs> to do this in a hurry. We don't have a lot of money, so we bought e.l.f. products. We don't have a lot of time because we got to go to work. So we are applying budget um, makeup as quick as possible. And I do have my beauty blender here. I'm just going to use to kind of um, make it a little bit smoother in some areas. I feel like this kind of thing is more realistic for most people. Most people don't sit down and do like before they're going to work or going to the grocery store or whatever. They don't sit down and like, oh, let me full glam up and spend an hour doing my makeup. They're just like, quick and dirty. Let's get in there. Let's get it done. Okay, next I'm going to start with something 
that I just picked up. It is the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. Um, it's brand new. Why can't I open it? I took it out of its box. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, it has... That's weird. So, there's the powder, but it has, like, another compartment down here. And there's nothing in it. So... I don't know. I don't know if there was supposed to be like a puff there or what. But we are just going to go in with this and a little fluffy brush and just set the foundation. Ooh. Ooh. Kick up like hell. Okay. Um. I can't say I'm a huge fan of this powder. It's kind of it's not just setting the makeup, it's kind of look making me look dry, which is not something my regular powder does. Um, but, you know, whatever. Here we are. So, there's that. Now we need some complexion products. Some. I have two of these little things I picked up a while ago. One is... Um, in this color... It's like kind of, here, let's swatch, like kind of peachy, and then I don't know what this color would be, but it's called R Rosy Flush. So I think these are both supposed to be blushes. I don't know who would use that second as a blush, but I feel like this is a good blush color. And then we have, in this compact, a more pinky blush and what I'm gonna use as like a bronzer and this is called bronzed and pink beige let me swatch those these are a cream formula which makes me think maybe I should not have put the powder on first but you know oh well so I'm going to go in with just a little bit. I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush too. It's called a buffing foundation brush. But we're going to go in and do a little bit of bronzer with it. Not too much because, you know, I'm not trying to look crazy. Remember the last Full Face Friday I went a little crazy on the blush? We're going to avoid that today. We're going to try. We're going to try not to over apply things because I know myself and I have what my kids lovingly refer to as my too much gene. So when that kicks in and I do too much of something or, you know, I spend too much or I feel like I have to go overboard with things. That's very much a part of my personality, and I'm going to try to avoid... This is not doing anything, hardly. Can you guys see? It's actually... It's... I don't want to say it's not doing anything. It's very subtle. But... That's okay. Subtle is fine. Moving on, we're not going to use that bright pink for blush because learn my lesson there. So we're going to go in with this brush and this like color right here. And how did I still go ham on it? What the hell? Why am I still Why am I always too much? Okay. It's fine. It'll all blend out and it'll look more natural. And about two seconds. The miracles of blending. See, worked out, right? Not too bad, not too bad. All right. Moving right along. What's next? What's next? Ooh, let's do brows next. So I bought this new pencil. It is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil and deep brown so it looks like that it's got a little spoolie on one end which 
I always appreciate, I need to, um, I need to wax my brows again or do something. They're kind of growing in a little bit too much. But you know, the last time I got my brows waxed, I had this strip of zits that came up like right here, like, like four in a row. It was not cute. And it happened right after getting my brows, um, waxed so oh it's like a super super fine point can you see that I've never used this before so everybody pray and a hush fell over the room as she tried to do her brows and not look like an evil Disney villain I ain't mad at it. I kind of like it. It's not too much. I just barely have the pencil up. It's not too much, but it's it's a good color. Maybe a tiny bit dark, but the next shade down was way, way, way too light for me. It was almost like a blonde. So, I don't do a real structured brow I don't know how to do that so we just go with filling in and darkening up my existing brows but hey I think it works looks fine to me moving along I bought some mascara from elf it is the three-in-one mascara <laughs> Excuse me, my allergies are like ugh, kicking in right now. Sorry about that. Um, and very black. Three in one mascara and very black. It's a very plain tube. But the wand is not very plain. Can you see that? It's like had a ball on the end. We're going to see how that works out. Ooh, I'm going to try to be very, very careful with my mascara because I don't want to screw it up. I don't want to make a mess here. I didn't bring anything to clean it off if I do, but of course. Ugh. Really? This? That is something that happens to me. Almost every time I put on mascara. Brilliant. Lovely. Very happy about it. Okay. I have a make appointment with you. I can just get in here and clean up a little bit of my mistakes. See kids, makeup is not always simple and easy for me. You know what? I don't have a regular spoolie, so I'm going to use the spoolie from the brow thing and kind of go in and separate my lashes because they kind of got a little clumpy. I was trying to clean them. Okay. All right. Now, everybody's favorite part, well, maybe not everybody's, my favorite part is eyeshadow. And I have actually quite a few e.l.f. palettes. But I decided to use this one called Modern, <coughs> excuse me, called Modern Metals. I was just kind of feeling the fall vibes of this palette. And I felt like it had a pretty good um, ratio of like mattes to shimmers. There's the, the colors a little bit better. Can you see? I think it's a really pretty palette. I've used it um, several times before. 
and I really enjoy it. Um, there are no color names. It's just these. So, let's start with kind of a fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with this color right there for just an all over the lid kind of color. Just a little base to set everything and to make everything blend nicely. Just to give just a little tint underneath everything else. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with the color next to it that's a little bit darker. But I'm going to go in with a different brush for that. And just try to put that in the crease and over in this corner a little bit. Try to do something fairly simple and easy today. That's looking okay. And then I'm going to go in with a shimmer across the lid. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, do I not have another brush to use? I thought I brought in an addition. Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, although it may be better to use my finger. I think I'm going to go in with this like champagne-y color right here. We'll try it on the brush first. Ooh. It actually is fine with the brush. Because, I, I, yeah. I actually think that looks really nice. That's pretty. But then just to give it a little more depth, I'm going to go back in with that darker color. And, oh, oh shit, I accidentally touched the blue. We don't want that. Okay, 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 okay. Wipe that off on my pajama pant leg. And I'm just going to add in a little bit that darker color on this side of the lid. Uh, it's not working out great, but it's working eventually. It was because I had to wipe off so much of the color because I went into the blue. That was my fault. That shit happened. It's just makeup, kids. It's just makeup. It is not... life-saving things it's just makeup there's a little bit of fallout with these shadows if that's the kind of thing that bothers you you know keep that in mind I think we're done with that part of the look right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same brush that we did the um, uh, shimmer shade and I'm going to go back in on the other side of the brush with that darker shade. And then we're going to do the lower lash line. So you kind of get a little bit of both. The shimmer and the other.
I actually think that looks really nice. And part of me wants to go in and do, I have this gold eyeliner. Um, I'll swatch it for you. It's just a little glittery um, brush eyeliner. Part of me wants to go in with that. Then part of me is scared I'm going to ruin it if I do. But my too much jean is kicking in, so we're going to put in just a little bit. It's not the most precise line that anybody's ever drawn, but it gives it a little more shimmer, and I'll take it. I think it looks fine. What do you guys think? Do you think I've screwed it up with this or enhanced it or it looks the same? Does it matter? Let me know. Let me know what you think. And then we have two different colors of lipstick things. They're like these weird little puff. One is like more of a nude. One's more of a berry. I think I'm going to go with the neuter color. Neuter. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up. The nude color. So you have to um, twist the bottom. Kind of click it until the product starts coming out of the top. And I've got a few of the other colors in these. And they take forever click 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 I probably should have done this you can I dropped it excuse me and I kicked the camera it's a great day it's a, it's a wonderful day oh. okay it's fine what I was trying to show you guys is that you can see the product going up into the tube as you're clicking it. God, I can't believe I dropped it. And you can kind of see it start to come out a little. There we go. So here's the thing I don't like about these. I don't like the smell. Um, and I don't really like the taste. If we're being completely honest. I wish I hadn't put the glitter on because now I have glitter all over my eyes. But it's fine. It's whatever. So last but not least, I picked up a e.l.f. dewy setting mist. I had another e.l.f. setting mist that was like my favorite but um, I couldn't find it at Target. It was like a, in, a, in a white bottle that was kind of like iridescent. It was like Beauty Shield or something like that. So let's, okay. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh. Ooh, this one's super coconutty. I know it said it was coconut scented um, ooh, it is super duper coconut. I feel like I'm having a pina colada on the beach. No, I don't. I don't feel like that at all. <laughs> I smell like it, but I don't feel like it. Okay, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it overall, I don't mind it. I think, um, it looks good. It is not bad. Um, is it my favorite makeup I've ever done? No. 
but it is definitely not the worst. And I'm kind of happy with the way everything turned out. I think for a budget brand, Elf is one of the best ones out there. They have some misses, but they have a lot of hits, a lot of home runs. And um, this eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. Here, I'm going to swatch more of the shimmer shades so you guys can see exactly how pretty they are. Um, look at those. Those are gorgeous. And I think this was six bucks. I think so. I think this was, at the most it was eight, but I'm pretty sure it was like six. So I feel like you can't beat that. Um, that's our full face. Full face Friday. I will be back tomorrow. For the next day of Vlogoween, of course. Tomorrow we have an unboxing. Um, it's another box from Fashionsta. So come back. Stay tuned for that. There's some interesting products in there. Um, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye kids. Mwah.